So these two lines, y equals 2x plus 5. So let's start at the y-intercept of 5. We're going to take this one backwards, down 2 over 1. Down 2 over 1. So it's positive 2. I'm going backwards here. OK, and then everyone's 2x minus 10. Up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1. Like that. Well, it wants the, the largest circle that can be inscribed. Well, for it to be inscribed, I mean, it can't just be any size circle. Like, that's not inscribed. Inscribed means like touching perfectly on the ends, like that. So there's really, really only one size circle. There's an infinite number of different circles because you can just slide it up and down um, between the two lines. But there's really only one size circle you can make. And you're limited by the shortest distance between the two lines. Like the diameter cannot meander down like that because then you have a circle like that. So you're limited by the shortest distance between the two lines. Now the shortest distance between two lines is a perpendicular line. Sorry, that's my dog drinking water in the background, if you can hear it. Um, so a perpendicular line between these two, so slope would be negative one half. So I'm going to start at the y-intercept of 5, go down 1 over 2, down 1 over 2, down 1 over 2. That's the diameter of this circle, okay? So what is that length? Well, let me draw a right, a right triangle, do Pythagorean. Your triangle, when you, when you do Pythagorean to get distance, your triangle doesn't have to correspond to anything else you've drawn. You just cut down, cut over, cut up, cut over, whatever you need. So this is 3, this is 6, so 3 squared plus 6 squared. Six. So that's 45 equals c squared, so c equals root 45. So that's the diameter of the circle. So the radius is that divided by 2. And the area would be that pi r squared. So 45 over 4 pi.